Hey, it's Mark Keane here from Microsoft. I'm a TSP for Azure, and we're going to talk about Azure File Sync. Initially, Azure Files is designed for lift and shift. The ability to move applications that require a concurrently accessed file share from on-premises to the cloud. It supports industry standard SMB 2.1, 3.0, and REST for modern written applications. It's secure, encryption at rest, as well as in transit. And sync, the new capability that will go into detail. When we talk to customers, they say even with the move to EFSS, Enterprise File Sync and Share solutions, such as OneDrive for Business, they still have a need for file servers. OneDrive provides the best information worker collaboration experience, but there are some unique use cases that cause customers to still use on-premises file servers for those specific use cases. Specifically, app compatibility apps that require file service schematics, SMB or NFS, ACLs, long paths, etc. Latency is another one. Cloud-based storage doesn't address the need for low latency, fast IOTA files as well. Customers collaborating on larger files can benefit from file servers. A common example is AEC, Arch Engineering Construction, where users are working with modeling, CAD design software that typically uses very large files and needs faster access within specific sites. Azure File Sync centralizes Windows file servers into Azure files, reducing management complexity and cost. Azure File Sync maintains compatibility and performance of existing on-premises file servers by turning them into lightweight performance cases for Azure files. Specific scenarios include multi-site access, same data set across servers and Azure files, cloud tiering, whole data tiered from local Windows servers, Azure Files maintains a complete copy, less frequently used data is removed from the on-premises file server, the namespace is kept 100% intact. Centralized file services, Windows Server becomes an on-premises performance cache in Azure. Cloud access, SMB 2.1 or SMB 3.0 and REST access to data in Azure and integrated cloud backup and rapid file server DR. Very easy to quickly restore the namespace. The file contents come down in the background or quickly on access. Move file services to Azure. Manage data sets centrally using Windows Server for local on-premises cache given low latency, high speed access, etc. Existing app and user access doesn't change at all. If your existing on-premises file server is out of space, traditionally you had two options. Number one, you could delete the data or some of it. Or number two, increase the storage footprint. Now with Azure File Sync, you have a third option. Sync the volume or just a subfolder to its own Azure File Share. A server can have as many volumes or folders, each syncing with their own Azure File Share. As these two locations are syncing, enable a feature called Cloud Tiering. Cloud Tiering allows a server to track access patterns to files and will assure the most frequently accessed files stay cached locally, while the cold data can be displaced from the server all automatically. The entire namespace, however, stays fully intact, thus allowing any user or application to see each file in the namespace. Any file access is as usual and the file will be served from local disk or from the Azure file share, cold file. Number two, lose the local branch server. Azure File Sync has a fast disaster recovery solution built in. Put in a new server and connect to a sync group. Could be a totally different storage location than before. A server with no data on it. Rapid Server DR brings back the namespace quickly. Users and applications can start accessing the file server instantly. In most cases, faster than a restore from backup. If a user or an application requests to open a file that doesn't exist yet or hasn't cached, that file will be recalled from the cloud with priority. Once no more files are being requested, the server has time to act on its policies to fill the cache. Can be interrupted at any time with a higher priority recall from a user or app. 
Replicate the same namespace data set to multiple servers in the same region. Replicate to other Azure file shares cross region sync. We call additional Azure file shares that sync with another cloud endpoints in the same sync group. We call a location on a server that syncs with either of these Azure file shares a server endpoint. Both cloud endpoints and server endpoints are fully read write. Changes are made in one location and travels to the other locations. Add servers from other regions that strategically connect to the lowest network latency available. Azure File Share Branch Office Paris server comes in at this point. Having more than one cloud endpoint enables true high availability of Azure file storage. Servers that can, for whatever reason, not connect to one region can automatically fail over to the next. Not in preview right now, but actively being added as we speak. All servers are essentially just normal file servers. So all the compatibility with existing line of business applications or features such as SMB, NFS, work folders, etc. is provided fully compatible. Provide cloud access to the data, true hybrid access on premises and the cloud. Backup integration, backup on premises is a challenge when cloud tiering is used on a server. A backup application is likely attempting to recall all files locally if the backup happens, defeats the purpose of cloud tiering. However, better solution, cloud backup in two steps. Nearline backup available for 2017, snapshot based Azure file share backups with all common restore options, individual file, full share restore to original Azure file share or alternative location. Pros, frequent snapshots possible. In most cases, more often than on-prem, snapshots can be mounted as read-only SMB shares, self-service restore for users via previous versions. Downsides, snapshots reside in production storage, not long-term retention place, and it can be risky if accidental deletion of a storage account happens. However, backup hardening available in 2018 means the latest snapshot is moved out of the storage account and stored in Azure Backup recovery vault for long-term retention. Azure File Sync Scenarios Multi-Site Sync Keep a data set in sync across multiple locations. Cloud Tiering Turn a server into a lightweight disposable performance case for Azure files. Direct Cloud Access Native file format with SMB and REST access. Integrated Cloud Backup Point in time recovery and retention policies without redundant data transfer. Rapid File Server DR. Fast namespace sync with no need to wait for data restore. What's new at the time of recording for Azure File Sync? Encryption at rest, SMB encryption for Linux, network ACLs, share snapshots, and data import. Coming up, AD integration and ACLs, larger shares up to 100 terabytes, up from five terabytes, cross region sync for the cloud endpoint, additional cloud tiering policies, Azure File Sync GA, very, very soon, zone redundant storage support and data export. OneDrive for Business is an integral part of Office 365 where end users can store, share and sync files. Users can update and share work files from any device with OneDrive for Business. End user collaboration scenarios should start with OneDrive. For specific scenarios that require on-premises file servers, e.g. large file collaboration with a local work group, application storage such as web content, FTP, analytics, where local performance is necessary. Azure files with sync can add cloud value to those file servers. Multi-site sync, cloud access and rapid restore. A decision tree of how to choose. If you're using Office 365 and you want seamless integration providing rich collaboration, use OneDrive and OneDrive for Business. If you're using Windows file servers for application workloads for application compatibility and local performance, well, you choose Azure File Sync. Many customers have some type of FTP server on premises, so these customers can easily lift and shift these servers to the cloud using IaaS virtual machines. Customers can set up high availability FTP servers if they leverage a file share to store the data. 
they can use their known FTP server software and simply mount Azure file shares and configure FTP server's data source to be Azure file shares. By this configuration, customers can add multiple VMs and a load balancer to enable high availability for their file shares, as opposed to a single instance disk solution shown on the right.